OK, now let's go over to the Mastercraft kitchen as it looks like Mark is getting very energetic this morning. What is going on, Mark? Certainly, oh, we are doing raw energy bars today. So no cooking involved, really simple, a great one for the kids to do at home and put in packed lunches as well. So we've got an array of beautiful ingredients here. We've got lots of nuts, which are just slow-release energies, uh, lots of fruit, dried fruit as well. So this is great for, like, long drives. Um, make this before you go on long drives. Eat it throughout your journey, and you'll just be wide awake. Um, right, so it's pretty simple, but first of all, we need to just get some oats. Um, we're just going to put them in the blender, and we're just going to blend them. So we want to sort of get down, not as much as a flour, but... Um, starting to get to a flour with still a little bit of texture and then we're going to come back and add all the other ingredients and then we're going to garnish it. We've got these fantastic freeze-dried fruits here. These are great. So much flavour in these and these have been freeze-dried for like a day in a special machine which takes all the moisture out and they're nice and crispy and intense and no added sugar as well. So when we come back a little bit later I'm going to show you how easy it is and then we're going to garnish it and then we're going to try them. We're helping raise awareness of road safety week and one of the problems is tired drivers. So Mark, you've got a great recipe to get an energy bar into you that you can make at home. Um, so, you know, this is about having those convenient snacks that are good for you, um, but also giving yourself a little boost. So how are we going? We are all ready to go, and I'm going to show you exactly how easy this is because Mike's going to make it. Oh, nice. There's a lot of ingredients <laughs> going on here. Are you sure you right, can so, yeah. trust me? No, no, we've got lots of ingredients. So we've blended the oats in here. Mm -hmm. So you can sort of see sort of some of powdered, some of the little bit of texture in there still. So that's great. So we're at that stage now. And then basically all these ingredients here, we're going to just pop in okay, and blend. Cool. I'm just going to chop these dates up a little bit just to help the uh, process. Start chopping yeah. these in then. Yeah, yeah. So just chuck them in. The good thing is, I guess, when you're making um, bars like this yourself, you actually know what you're putting in it. Because some of them, you look on the back of the packets, and exactly, they're full yeah. of stuff you don't even know. Numbers. Yeah, okay. exactly. And this, have you seen this uh, product before? Cocoa nibs. Oh, that looks good. So this is great. Great texture in there. It tastes like chocolate, but without all the sugar. Oh, can that. I try some? Mm. Cocoa nibs. Beautiful. Real bits of chocolate. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. It's beautiful. But it's going to be fantastic in, in there. In here? Just yep, throw yep, it in? Yep, bang it in. Okay, cool. Well, right, we've got some vanilla as well. See, so just, just the vanilla beans, and it's just been ground up, so nice and textured. Bit of flavour in there, and that gives a bit of sweetness. Right, so we're going to start pulsing all that, or blending all that. Okay, I can do that for you. Okay. <laughs> that was close. Okay. I love it when the machine does all the work. Right, so just open it, we'll have a look. So it's starting to sort of break down a bit now. A little bit of olive oil yeah. and some almond milk as well. And that's just going to help bind it. So we'll keep blending it. Come away. And we just want to just keep blending that so it all comes together. And then we're just going to knead it and shape it. So a little bit longer. Let's have a look. It's starting to smell. Awesome. Good. And if you just, just a little quick tester. So if you just take some out and just give it, crush it between your hands, a bit of pressure, and you can sort of see it starting to stick together. Yeah. So I'll give it Not a little, little, a little bit more, more to blend. Okay. Yeah. And then you're going to take it out and then you're going to shape it into a bar on a plate. Right, go. I want to see you shaping. <laughs> you want to see me shaping? <laughs> oh, I never thought you'd ask, Mark. Okay. Right, that's looking good. Okay, you ready? Okay. Right, so, so get it all together, sort of give it a little bit, take the blade out, give it a little bit of a knead so it comes into sort of one big ball, and then I want you to shape it into a bar. Okay. Oh, on the no. plate. <laughs> What's so is that enough? Is that a yeah, big you know, bar? you can do, all, do, do a big bar. Okay. Uh, so Mel's, Mel's kids want some for. Uh, oh, so, what, so then once we set it, we're going to cut it up. Is that what you mean? This yeah, is, yeah. This so we're going to set it. We're going to put it in the freezer for about 20 minutes. Um, it's just going to set, and then we can chop it up, and then we're going to garnish it, which is the uh, most fun of the whole recipe. Right, so I'm just going to make a little glaze on the top, just for some extra flavour. So some coconut oil, a little bit of maple syrup, just for a bit of sweetness, <laughs> and some cocoa powder. And I'm, oh, it's looking good. Is it about the right height? How thick do you yeah, want Yeah, no, it? well, it's entirely up to you, you know? OK. You know, when you, I mean, you want a nice sort of, yeah, thick <laughs> bar. <laughs> I've got a, it looks bar like I've got a muesli patty here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now, use a little palette knife, get some straight sides. Oh, okay, looks cool. professional. OK, sweet. Thank you. So it's all about the tools, isn't it, Mark? Oh, that's it, yeah. 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 Not about your ability. <laughs> well, a, li a little bit as well. Oh, but that is, that is looking good. 
Okay, good. <laughs> this is good. So, what are the benefits you think of you know making this yourself at home? Well, like you said before, you know you know exactly what's inside it. You know you can swap the ingredients around. You know use any nuts that you want. Use any fruit what you want. You know you can you can totally customize it to what you like. And the great thing about this is you know long drive. Eat this before, and it will just give you loads of energy and keep you awake. So we're just gonna. How long would something Where like this that? last, actually, since you've made it fresh yourself, you know? How, how oh. far in advance could you actually make it? Oh, two, three days easily, you know, oh, you nice. could probably even a bit longer, you know? Chop it up, stir it in an airtight container in the fridge. Yeah. And, Is this something uh, you do on a Sunday, have all the snacks for the week ready to go? Oh, definitely. And this is something that the kids can do as well, you know? Cool. Really easy. So we're just going to pop that in the freezer, let it set a little bit, and then we'll chop it up and garnish it when we come back. Mm-hmm. OK, be great. great. I'm just straightening up the sides here. <laughs> Mark's ruined my, uh, my work, actually, by pouring all that chocolate over it. There you go, I'm happy now. You can put that in the freezer, Mark. <laughs> awesome. All right, good work. We'll come back, see what the finished product looks like. Mel, over to you. Mark, we've got to wrap up. What have you been doing today with your energy bars? Did I make a good one? Has it turned out all right? It's, it's looking awesome. Like, really good job, actually. Thank you. I just shaved it. I didn't really make it. <laughs> so we've got our bar. So it's been 20 minutes in the freezer, so it's just set. A little bit of chocolate over the top. And some of that freeze-dried fruit. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. And then we're just going to chop it up. And then you guys can taste it. <gasps> Pretty small bars. <laughs> All right, guys, oh, try these. Ooh, Ooh, fantastic. Wow. That looks amazing. Thank you so much, Mark. That's What's great. on the menu tomorrow? We're going to be making Mexican-inspired braised beef. Yum, yum. Have a fantastic day. We will see you again tomorrow. Great. Can you Yum. That's beautiful.